building beautiful business arose out of a conversation with uh, Bob Stevens recently where we were talking about the general flow of activity uh, designed to um, take a person's uh, mission and translate their mission into uh, both a, uh, a message and then the associated materials and uh, provide those to the people who are most served to use those. And there, there are uh, several sort of um, players in the whole process. One is a, a producer of materials, and materials can be anything from a book to a food product to a, um, a tool, uh, anything physical or informational. And then there's a publisher, the person that uh, takes the uh, whatever the offering is that's been produced and makes it uh, cohesive or packages it in such a way where it is uh, market friendly and then places it in a uh, marketplace or a marketing channel uh, and then the marketing channel each uh, specific type of marketplaces or channels connect to a type of consumer so a producer might be for example uh, Bob Stevens doing a um, an event and in that case he's also the publisher and the marketplace he's creating uh, might be his own mailing list or through meetup which connects him to his audience or uh, consumers uh, another way of um, another uh, consideration of all these players might be um, uh, the radical health step-by-step -step guide which I'm rewriting now uh, which is probably going to be called the radical health codex and in that case, uh, I'll be the producer and also the publisher because I'll uh, publish it in a Kindle format and upload it into Amazon as a marketplace. And that will connect to my audience, uh, which is um, uh, Amazon users. Another really good uh, way to think of this is in terms of um, the uh, radio station model where you've got a, a radio station. Uh, so you've got a radio station owner which owns the channel and then you have a, um, a producer which also makes sure that all the shows are somewhat cohesive and you know make sure that the, all the content being produced meets all the laws of the land for example and then you've got uh, show hosts and uh, potentially co-hosts and those um, those radio shows tend to attract a certain type of audience and on those radio shows then there are both um, uh, radio uh, guests uh, people who are talking producing content on the shows and there are show sponsors uh, which are um, you know like people placing ads uh, and so the radio station model uh, works very well um, to consider also. Um, a beautiful business is a little bit different than um, a normal business uh, in that there's a certain quality of artistry uh, which might be similar to the experience you have of listening to a beautiful piece of music or uh, watching a beautiful film or um, viewing a beautiful uh, picture, uh, painting. Uh, and uh, business, I guess we ought to define also, um, for me, uh, um, business is a general flow of activity designed to produce a specific quality of lifestyle. Lifestyle meaning uh, free time, money, health, and happiness. And at the simplest, or in simplest terms, a business is a uh, is you can think of as simply a collection of buyers which are buying. If you go up a level, a true business, for me anyway, is an activity which over time uh, produces more and more lifestyle, free time, money, health, and happiness for um, you know, uh, increasing lifestyle, for decreasing activity until the entire uh, business goes on automatic, meaning it becomes um, uh, self-sustaining, self-replicating, and the sort of the stages of business as I arrange them in my mind are uh, blueprinting, bootstrapping, building, and banking. Blueprinting is design, uh, bootstrapping is uh, validation or um, uh, first sales uh, to test out uh, if a uh, product or service is um, 
uh, is uh, working well in, in your particular marketplace that you've chosen. Uh, building then is once you've done your validation, building is to uh, scale up your business uh, to produce uh, income, which you know means going through different um, uh, stages within building. So there's a different set of systems, for example, required to run a five-figure business and a six-figure and a seven, eight, nine, ten-figure business. A completely different uh, uh, sets of systems are required for each of those types of businesses. And then banking is really uh, an exit strategy. And the two primary exit strategies might be either to sell the business uh, or to roll it up. In other words, a lot of people, the way that they exit their business is they just stop doing it. Um, preferable to sell it and uh, be compensated or to scale it. In other words, um, uh, turn your uh, business into a true business which runs on automatic. And so Bob and I were talking about um, uh, the different technologies that I'm either using right now or I'm experimenting with, which run the gamut of uh, Kindle publishing, uh, listing myself as a worker on Fiverr, Odesk, Elance Guru, uh, using Meetup, which I've done for years, and YouTube, um, uh, using Craigslist, Kickstarter, uh, Google Hangouts, uh, radio interviews, which I've done for... Uh, well, let's see, since 1994, I think, was the first radio interview I did. Uh, joint ventures, uh, which means uh, a joint venture is a um, activity where the the participants are somebody with a um, an audience. Uh, in other words, a uh, joint venture, um, uh, if you think of it in terms of radio, of the radio show model, a, uh, uh, there typically is a radio show host and a radio show guest. And a guest has a product and a host has a list, and the two get together and uh, have a conversation, which might be um, audio, video, or uh, written. And um, Bob and I were talking about all the different um, uh, technologies which can really streamline and accelerate uh, this whole um, journey from uh, producer uh, or um, uh, well, producer to consumer uh, of a person connecting uh, through publishers and marketing channels with their uh, audience or their tribe. And so building beautiful business is a um, uh, kind of an ongoing project that we're going to start up here, um, uh, I guess, uh, here in about a week or so. Uh, we're going to run the first one in Austin. Bob's going to be in town, so he'll be joining me for this one. And we're going to um, uh, take people through a process of really uh, the initial processing process of blueprinting, where is uh, taking their mission and converting that into a um, uh, a message which is uh, interesting, unique, uh, uh, narrow, uh, meaning uh, it's a very small, um, easily understood piece of information. It's clear, concise, relevant to their audience, and actionable by their audience uh, with a minimal amount of resource, uh, which would be time, money, or expertise. And uh, to walk people through uh, uh, creating their message and their associated materials and then um, determining which marketplaces or channels um, or publishers to use to connect with their tribe or their audience or uh, consumers. And so that's the, um, uh, the uh, general <laughs> kind of um, uh, it, overview or um, excursion into building beautiful business and um, we're we're going to be um, <laughs> since this is our first time through we're going to be probably making up a lot of this as we go along and what I mean by that is that uh, what happens when people uh, like um, Bob and I have both been in business for many years. My my first business, I think I started in 1974, so 74, 84, 94, uh, 04, uh, almost up to 14, so almost 40 years of um, uh, entrepreneurial uh, experiments for me. And I'm sure Bob has uh, 40 more um 40 or more years of uh, entrepreneurial experience too and so making it up really means that uh, a lot of what um, people 
do on a regular basis, they're on automatic about. So a lot of the things that I do, for example, if I have an interview with somebody, um, I can take a Skype call and normalize the audio and roll it into a video with uh, a, um, uh, a leader and trailer of um, uh, opening credits and music and have that published in YouTube uh, within about an hour or so. And so that's an example of uh, some uh, something that I've gone on automatic about. It's a, a particular type of process I'm on automatic. A lot of the um, uh, the technology that Bob uses with speaking, uh, he's on automatic about, and imagination and activation, which is uh, engaging your uh, imagination to create. And a lot of the things I do with my health are on automatic. And so making up means uh, really a, a better way of saying that might be to um, uh, to interact with people in the room so that uh, where uh, we're on automatic, the people in the room can uh, ask for uh, clarification or expansion of a particular topic so that uh, we can uh, surface the systems by which um, we have created our uh, business uh, enterprises over time. So uh, if you are in or near Austin or know someone in or near Austin, uh, be sure and attend and bring a friend. Uh, or pick up the recording when it publishes and uh, be sure and check the event listing because uh, to be actually in the room to participate uh, in uh, one of these events uh, there will be different prerequisites probably for uh, different uh, types of events so be sure and check the prerequisite list and um, uh, enjoy building your beautiful business and uh, also be in touch with me and let me know your experiences as you're building your beautiful business. Yeah.